Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads, uh, determine the moment about point A of uh, each of uh, the three forces acting on the beam. And in the second case, determine the moment about point B of each of uh, the three forces acting on the beam. Both these problems are coming from uh, the engineering uh, mechanics, uh, statics, uh, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. Okay. So here we are being asked to determine the moments. This is a bit very direct. So the first thing that we're going to do is just trying to write the components of this particular force, especially uh, F2 and uh, F3. So we are using this coordinate system, this coordinate system, right? So let me use red here, like so, like so. All right, there we go. So let's call this Y, then we call this X. Okay, so there we go. So we have this one here. Let me use another color, maybe. So we have this one, we're going to have two components, and then we have this one. All right, like so like so and then we have another component which is this one like so and like so all right so let's label them so this one just becomes uh 500 times the rise which is four over five then when we work out this we have a 400 right and then this one just becomes 500 by the run divided by 5 this becomes 300 and this one uh, we have 160 uh, cos 30 then this one we have 160 sine 30 this one is just going to be equal to 18 okay so uh, we have the first case we have case we have case 1 and case 1 is 4 dash 4 right so what do we have here so we are going to take moments about point A. So say summation. I'll uh, say summation of moments about point A equal to. So we are saying and clockwise is a reference positive. Okay. So about point A. Uh, we have a clockwise one which is just going to be equal to a minus. Um, 375 by 8 this is clockwise and then we do have another clockwise one which is a 400 and this one is by that's 6 plus 8 this is a 14 okay and then we do have uh, another one which is 160 uh, cos 30 then this one is times um, 19 right okay and then we do have a plus about a plus uh, 80 by 0.5 this is this is anti-clockwise okay therefore our ma is just going to be equal to our ma is equal to uh, where is my calculator so we have a minus 375 by 8 a minus 400 by 14 a minus 160 cos 13 uh, by 19 and a plus 80 by 0.5 
so this gives me a minus one one uh one nine two point seven two um pounds uh feet let me check it through again so we do have minus 375 by 8 minus 400 uh, by 14 minus so multiply 90 19 by 160 19 by 160 cos 13 10 plus 80 by 0.5 11192.72 so we can write this as equal to 1 1 uh, 192.72 uh, pounds feet and this one is um and clockwise i mean this is clockwise so it is like clockwise so it is like this right clockwise negative okay all right so we are done with the first case let's go to the second case which is case two case two is four dash five right so what do we have here the question here is to find moments about point B okay B is here okay that's B so we have summation let me just draw a bit of a boundary here so that we don't disturb anything all right so we have summation uh, we do have summation we do have summation or moments about point B equal to again and clockwise is our reference uh, about b here so we have positive here so we have um uh, 375 uh, 375 by uh, 375 which is clockwise by 11 okay and then we do have plus 400 by 5 okay of course this will not provide anything but we can indicate it uh, we have 116 it will not provide any anything there there will be no moment due to this just like this remember this 300 you didn't have any moments towards this right remember even uh, this one here it will not have a moment because it's going through b okay seen it so here uh we do have uh plus another plus this one which is um 80 by 0.5 okay and therefore mb is just going to be equal to so 375 by 11 plus 400 uh, by 5 plus 80 by 0 0.5 this gives us a 6165 pounds feet so writing this so as we saw this we show the sign so this means this moment is uh, uh, clockwise this moment is uh, I mean it is anti-clockwise it's anti-clockwise so anti-clockwise it means it's going to be in this direction like this okay in this direction Alright, I guess this is about it. So we have these solutions like so. Uh, like so. Okay, of course here we do have a positive. We can indicate a positive. 
you just saw to say this is a positive moment um, or we can show that direction like so and we have another solution there like so so i think this is about it and i hope this particular video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and sharing my channel bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh, screencast